Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Soothe your soul with our customized aromatherapy blends designed to support you in clearing clutter. Our unique blends include Space Clearing, Zen Mind, Serenity, Awareness, Natural Awakening, Loving Kindness, Gratitude, Forgiveness, Blissful Balance, and Present Time, which will become your favorite. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about emotional and mental clutter and how something called havening technique can help you with this. I'm very excited. I have interviewed Annie Day several times when I did my older show, Reawaken Your Brilliance, and one of the reasons I do this show is to present different ways that can help you clear clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Annie Day is the owner of Heaven Sent Bliss. She's been a therapist for several years and has studied a variety of healing techniques including health kinesiology, essences, reflexology, massage, space clearing, and feng shui. She also studied psychology and practices as a stress consultant. As a holistic therapist, she uses her skills and experience to develop a totally unique program tailored to each individual patient. Welcome, Annie. Good evening. I'm delighted to be um, live on your show again. Thank you for inviting me. Now let's, this, I have used this technique and that's why I wanted to bring you on the show to have people learn about it. And if I, am I mispronouncing it? What is havening technique? Am I saying that correctly? Yes, that's correct. It's havening technique. Okay, the original event havening method effectively works by permanently removing specific receptors within the brain pathway, holding the biological imprint of a past trauma. This means that thoughts of a, the traumatic event or reminders of the event will no longer trigger unhelpful responses. It can be quick and simple and very powerful. It's been developed through research into the way high amplitude, low frequency brain waves that we might know as delta waves can do great healing work in the part of the brain called the amygdala. When someone has reactivated a trauma pathway by bringing that, that issue to mind, a past traumatic event usually. In such circumstances, electrochemical changes occur within the crucial neurons in that trauma pathway and effectively remove the capacity to negatively respond to the trauma. The havening technique uses the sensory input of touch to deliberately generate delta waves. And as you've tried it already, you'll know how quite soporific it is to be stroking yourself quite slowly. So the therapist, whoever's doing the havening, makes particular sweeps of their hands over the client's shoulders and arms, on their, their palm of the hands, I don't know if you can see me there, and then under the eyes to the chin, and under the eyes to the ears. And you can use event havening as well as getting... Um, as well as uh, getting rid of an unhelpful event. So some of the things it can help with is um, removing emotional responses to distressing memories, broken relationships, shocking news, embarrassment. It could um, treat emotional responses resulting from experiences or traumatic events like a natural disaster, rape, abuse, violent crime, experiences of war, and accidents can also it's really effective at treating phobias and it can remove haunting unhelpful ideas about aspects of our future when we keep catastrophizing about what's going to happen it can treat performance anxiety which has got so many applications it can treat chronic pain when a psychological component is underlying it can remove recurring nightmares and night terrors removes anger responses 
can remove um, fear of abandonment, can remove guilt, shame, jealousy and other unhelpful emotions and help people deal with grief, loss and bereavement. But one of the things that I have found in my practice that has been most helpful for is treating post-traumatic stress disorder, so PTSD. Releasing general non-event non specific negative feelings and embedding positive messages. So what you experienced in your kinesiology session with me was actually embedding those affirmations so that whether we believe our affirmations or not, by doing this stroking movement, it really embeds them and really locks them into our psyche. Well, I, it was. It was a wonderful session. I'm curious, so it really can help with mental clutter, emotional clutter. Now, oh, absolutely. that I would consider spiritual clutter, like being unable to say no or yeah, absolutely. comparing yourself to others. This would work with that as well too, right? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt, yeah. Can you chat a little bit about, because when I did, you know, Annie, we're filming this and Annie's in the UK, so she's available. She can do this over Skype. And, you know, I believe in lots of things, but I always have a healthy uh, sense of skepticism. And I think that that's a good <laughs> thing to have. But I have to tell you, I was really, it was one of the most incredible healing sessions and you know if you go to my YouTube channel we, under reawaken your brilliance I've done several interviews with Annie and I encourage you to check it out to learn lots of other good stuff but what I'm curious about is can you chat a little bit about how um, if we're not aware of our emotional clutter how that can be affecting us you know for instance when we work together one of the things you picked up on is I wasn't sleeping and I had told no one that and that information came out so talk a little bit about how this can help us maybe be more aware of something we don't know that's going on. I think what it does is once you're in a relaxed state because quite often we're only doing shallow breathing and quite often we're unaware that we're not taking a really deep breath and so our, once our mind becomes starved of oxygen and the brain isn't getting enough oxygen those in fight or flight re uh, uh, mode so basically we get um, really badly negatively affected by an overload of um, corticor steroids and adrenaline so it floods our body which is good when for instance there's a slight amount of adrenaline tonight because I'm on your wonderful radio show but the point at which it overwhelms you that's when it's really unhelpful so by doing the havening and stroking yourself while you're saying positive affirmations to yourself could actually make a really um, real big impact into stopping you from doing that. So literally as soon as you find having, you're having an unhelpful thought you could immediately put in something a bit more positive just by saying um, everything I touch turns to gold or everything I touch is successful. So literally as soon as that unhelpful thought comes in, just by stroking yourself with these very, what are quite soporific movements, can make a really big difference to your mental state, but also just the fact that most of us aren't getting enough physical touch as well. So this is a really good way of actually hugging yourself and being very gentle to yourself. I've discovered that men especially, I've really benefited from the havening technique because um, most of them have said that they don't even put their aftershave on gently. Women tend to gently smooth their uh, creams into our faces. Men's go slap, 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 slap all over their faces. So they've said this is probably the first time since they were a child that they've actually um, touched themselves gently with positive intent. So that's been really that's been a really good part of the, doing the havening and there's been a lot of um, people who've been in the army particularly the SAS who have found their way to me because they've had PTSD that isn't responding to what the NHS is doing basically so actually they found just doing that hugging and doing the stroking of the hands and the face that has been really good as soon as they start doing it they're reporting that their energy levels are higher and their relaxation levels are a lot higher as well immediately and what's so great about this is there are no side effects so we don't have to worry absolutely 
many people say drugs is the answer to change it, but here mm -hmm. you're offering something that someone can do and get immediate results with. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think one of the, the people that I told you about, um, he, you scored the event between 0 and 10, and he, he quite frankly had seen things that no human being should, should ever have to see. And um, when he was scoring it, he said it scored at 10,000. And I was thinking, oh my goodness. And we did one round of Havening, and it was down to four. And I said, is that 4,000? And he said, no, Annie, it's only four. I can hardly remember it already. That's so that was just brilliant. And it's powerful. And again, you know, I come from the belief as we heal ourselves, we heal another. That's yeah. why I want people to release clutter because when they clear clutter, they can create the life that they choose. Now, would you mind, could you do a, a full demonstration and just pick yeah. an affirmation? And again, if you're listening to this on the podcast, go to our YouTube station and you'll be able to find this. You'll be able to see it as well because I know a lot and of what people... What I can do after the show is to send you the double-sided sheet with the most, with the um, haven in affirmations that come up the most frequently. Would that Perfect. be useful? Yes. Okay. So the first one is, I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. So I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. And then we'll do our hands. I'm and a when magnet. the first time Annie was stroking from her shoulders down to her hands, and we, we stroke twice. And then we're doing the, the palms of our hands. I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. And then we're going underneath our eyes to our chins. I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. And then we're going underneath our eyes towards our ears. I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. And it's that simple. Yeah, literally that simple. Um, when I first... Um, we shown this technique. I did, I'm a magnet for prosperity and abundance. I did, my unique talents and abilities are always in great demand. And I did, my wealth comes from um, expected and unexpected sources. And on the third night, my friend phoned me and said, um, what are you doing on the 8th of November? And this was September. And I said, um, I don't know why. She said, um, go and have a look in your diary and I'll tell you why. So those three affirmations were all that I'd done differently up to that time. She asked me, would I like to be a guest speaker at the World Symposium on Complementary Medicine, talking about sexual healing. In return for a 90-minute talk, they would um, fly me out first class, five-star accommodation, to Antalya in Turkey and literally Julie that's all I'd done differently that was all I'd done differently was to do the havening technique for those three days with those specific ones can you explain you've touched on this a little bit but I think it's great for helping PTSD or phobias but when people have too much clutter and abundance it's hoarding and so can you explain how you are able to havening techniques locks in the affirmations and, and helps get rid of that, get rid of a phobia or PTSD? Because that's really when you're dealing with hoarding, that's a yeah. you know, mental health issue. You need to have a therapist doing it for you, ideally. It's, it's much more difficult for you to do it on yourself. Locking in the affirmations is relatively easy, but actually getting rid of the PTSD, you need another because you need to just be going off and doing your funky magic. If we were going to do it on you and we were going to get rid of uh, an unhelpful thought, the first thing I'd ask you to do was to describe what had happened, because we need to know. We need to bring it to the forefront so we can get rid of it, basically. So you'd think about this unhelpful event, and then you'd score it between 0 and 10. Once you'd scored it between 0 and 10, I would then get you to close your eyes and I would start doing what we've just done. So I'd be stroking you from your shoulders down to your wrists, then the inside of your palms. 
underneath your eyes down to your chin and underneath your eyes to your ears and occasionally um, where there's been um, abuse issues I've made sure that the patient's okay with me touching them because we need to make sure that we're not adding to this unhelpful experience but mostly people really enjoy somebody else stroking them it feels really um, nurturing and it feels really compassionate and then once we've done that I'd send your mind off to do little tasks so I might say I want you to imagine your safe place and I want you to be in your safe place and I want you to walk around and I want you to count 20 steps in your safe place so you do that while I'm still doing the havening moves for you then I'd get you to think of a physical activity that you really enjoy like bouncing or jumping or dancing or whatever and again you imagine that you're doing that while I'm still stroking you then I'd send you off on another little task which would be for instance um, imagining that you're walking down the stairs of your home and you're counting backwards from 20 to 0 and again while you're doing that you're using a different part of the brain and we're um, and it's distracting you from what we're doing which is the most important thing which is the soporific movements and then I might ask you to I don't know sort something um, imagine that there's um, butterflies in the garden and I want you to notice the butterflies and imagine writing down you know how many butterflies you've, you've managed to see that are red butterflies and then when we've got you to do a few little tasks like that all the time stroking you and getting you to do these little tasks that send your brain off on different distractions we then get you to flick your eyes left flick your eyes right flick your eyes left because then you're actually um, you're accessing different parts of the brain and then you're asked to score the event again and dependent on how low the score is depends whether you'd want to do another round of it so the guy who came with 20,000 you know for the PTSD was down to four and we did it again and it was down to one and I said do you want to do it again so that it's zero and he said no because it's manageable it's manageable I can do this it was 20,000 so now it's one I don't have an issue with it and we also um, taught him how to haven in his affirmations about being grounded, about being safe, about being secure. So there's multiple ways of using it um, that are really helpful to people for decluttering the mind basically because once you've got rid of that trauma there's much more room for you to be creative and for your brain to be much more relaxed. Can you share it? It's so true. I mean, again, having done it myself, that's why I wanted to have Annie on the show because it's so powerful. Can you share what I know some good things are coming up in the future for havening technique? Are you allowed to share any of that? I think so, yeah. My, um, my lovely teacher, Tony Burgess, who is my NLP um, master, and he also, on the same um, training course, he taught me havening, which has been life-changing on a personal and professional um, way. But the, I want to make sure I get their names right. Um, the two people that have brought it through are um, Ron Rudin and Thomas Rudin. And they're American. And they've been researching this for over 20 years now. They knew there was something quite potent and powerful about touch but they've no idea how healing this could be so they've actually perfected this and for the last 12 months my teacher Tony Burgess, Ron Rudin, Thomas Rudin and Paul McKenna have taken the world by storm actually showcasing this all over the world particularly with therapists um, and especially with psychotherapists so really teaching people how to do this. So um, Tony Burgess is now doing Britain and y Europe, doing all the workshops. But also they're looking at the moment for someone to do the research on it. So they'll be looking for research case studies because they want to have proof so that, for instance, the NHS could be using this. 
we know side effects as you say no medication just just doing the self touch and teaching therapists how to do this how beautiful will that be I mean it's, it's truly amazing now is there anything else you'd like to add of using the havening cheek technique to release clutter that we haven't touched on um yeah if sometimes um with the best will in the world people wake up and they're in a negative mindset so what you can do is do self havening where you start off with saying I'm fed up I'm fed up I'm fed up I'm fed up I'm really disappointed I'm really feeling very disappointed and you go through all the emotions and eventually when you've done it for a while you'll start thinking of positive words once you've thought of those positive words you can start embedding those but sometimes we need to acknowledge that something's happened and it's actually rocked our boat and that we're not feeling our usual healthy happy delightful self and actually we're having a really tough time but just by doing those soothing movements and stating the emotions eventually after about five minutes you'll be saying um, feeling cheerful feeling happy and you'll be back to your usual buoyant self excellent now can you share one area in your life where it's where you struggled with clutter and how did you overcome that right um, the clutter I was dealing with was um, allowing um, patients to stay with me for too long so patients become friends and then I would think well therapeutically they're able to do this and they don't really need me and because they, they'd go oh just give me one more session and I'd say yes so it's taught me to not do that now I've said I've taken you as far as you need to go with me and now you know it's your turn to take the reins and for you to do what you need to do and certainly teaching people to do the havening means you can do this as home play so you can actually do this yourself and you know you can do whatever affirmations are going to be most appropriate for you absolutely and I think the benefit of working with someone like you is because you are able to make us aware and find things that we might not be able to see because of your ability as a practitioner yeah absolutely alright now share one final tip to, to for people to support people in releasing clutter from any area in their life right um whenever I'm decluttering physically I have three boxes the first box I put things that you know my aunt Sally bought me that I don't really fancy and isn't really my cup of tea but I don't like to just chuck it out so I'll send stuff like that to the charity shop or recycle it to somebody who would really appreciate the whatever it is then I have another box that is junk that goes to the tip and then I have another box that goes to the charity shop and the criteria I use now um, I'm quite ruthless with the space clearing now I've learned over the years that the faster you can let it go the quicker you can get something much more appropriate back so if it's not beautiful useful and I haven't worn it for a year it has to go and I've been using this criteria for well particularly this last year and it's made such a difference because as we know the universe loves to fill a void and there were no voids there were no voids <laughs> so once you've got that void then the universe can fill it with something much better and much more positive basically. excellent now Annie tell people how they can find out more information about you or any other good stuff that you'd like to share okay um, so my website is www.heavensentbliss.uk and um, in very shortly we'll be doing in the new year we'll be doing our space clearing for the soul and um, which is all about decluttering emotionally physically spiritually and of course physically and then we've got our seashell healing goddess workshops tree spirit healing um, a new one that we came up with last year was um, the art of manifesting and that was really well received and we got really good feedback for that and we also um, did our second year of a dragon workshop which again was really well attended with adults we had a whole range we had we had grandparents 
and we had adults and we had little children on it as well so that was really lovely and as you've said the Skype treatments just continue to get better and better and better so right. I'm working in the Netherlands, France, the USA, um, Australia, Canada at the moment and uh, having a real ball doing it as well all right, excellent. Well, always a pleasure, Annie. And again, we've got other interviews with Annie on our YouTube channel that are really helpful. All right, everyone, I want you to go out and clear some clutter to create the life you <laughs> use, deserve, and desire. Soothe your soul with our customized aromatherapy blends designed to support you in clearing clutter. Our unique blends include Space Clearing, Zen Mind, Serenity, Awareness, Natural Awakening, Loving Kindness, Gratitude, Forgiveness, Blissful Balance, and Present Time, which will become your favorite. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.